What's up? Long Live Your Turtle here, and in this video, we're going to assemble and review the Penplax Reptology Life Science Turtle Topper Above Tank Basking Platform. Epic title. Let's see if it's an epic product. Let's get to it. So, here's the box for the Penplax Basking Platform. I got this rig for $33 on Amazon, which is quite cheap considering a basking platform is one of the most important features that you'll be adding to a turtle tank, especially turtles that bask a lot, like sliders, uh, including my red eared slider and yellow belly slider. So basking platforms are really important. $33 for a basking platform is awesome and super accessible to a lot of people. Like that from the start. Now this turtle topper comes in two colors. It comes in black, like I have here, and it comes in a natural green. Now the natural green color has a couple more colors mixed in, and it looks kind of Jurassic. The Jurassic color is cool, but I think in your living room where you have a black trim tank and probably a black stand for your tank, it's gonna look a little tacky. So I went with the black turtle topper, and this color is actually $10 cheaper, so that did not hurt my decision on this color. But enough talking about this awesome box. Let's see what's inside. Let's assemble the basking platform and get this thing working. So right out of the box, this is a pretty simple rig. You have your ramp, you have your underwater resting area platform. You got your two suction cup parts, two little clip pieces, two little braces for your ramp, and then some supports for that underwater platform. You have obviously your base, and you have your cover with a metal screen top, and the rest is plastic. Of course you have your instruction manual, and a couple ads for other stuff. Instructions are super simple. There are 10 steps to assemble this. Let's see how assembling goes. All right, so step one is put together the supports for your underwater platform. And then you're gonna flip over your base and slide this on. You flip it over. Next thing you wanna do is the ramp. And here you're just gonna basically place the pivot point, that edge, into the channel they have here. All right, so now you take your little ramp supports and you're gonna put that through the little slits here and then you're gonna have it so that your bend is going inward. All right, so now you have the ramp installed. You have these kind of awkward gaps where you put those supports for that underwater resting platform. So you have these little pieces that kind of fill in that gap. So those are a little loose. Uh, I might need a little silicone on there to keep those in place. But for now, we'll see how they do. All right, so you have the entire base together now. All we have left is the top, which simply kind of rests right on top of the rim around your base. And then you have these little suction cups that will help hold it to the side of your tank. So just put the little tab through the slot on the base. And there you have it, the Reptology Life Science Turtle Topper Above Tank Basking Platform. So the Turtle Topper fits tanks that are 12. I lose 13, 13 inches is the tank width this topper can fit on. Ignore all times I incorrectly said 12 inches. And don't ask me how I screwed that one up so royally. 12 inches wide, that immediately limits us to a 10, 20, 30, or 55 gallon aquarium. Luckily, I have a 20 gallon aquarium that is a spare that we will be using for this demo. So obviously this tank is tiny for a turtle. 20 gallons will not cut it for most turtle sizes. My smallest turtle is seven inches 
carapace length, and this is Harold. So I'm sorry, Harold, but you have been voluntold as a tribute to demo this Harold to see if it is as massive in performance as it is in name length. So I'm gonna fill this tank up, we're going to install a turtle topper, we're gonna put Harold in, and we're gonna see how everything goes. All right, well that was my fault, but this thing just fell, broke off a clip. That clip is meant to be a nice little hinge for our little screen top. There's still one left, but goes to show plastic does break. That was my fault, but let's keep going. All right, so now I'm going to install our turtle topper. Now they have a min water level, uh, which is basically at the top of your tank. Obviously you don't want the water to overflow and this gives a good indication of that. Um, I'm going to fill it up to that water line and get going here. Let's do the final assembly of our turtle topper. You got your suction cups. All right, I apologize in advance, Harold. Here we go. So while Harold kind of gets acclimated to his new water and situation here, his little jail cell, unfortunately, I'm going to set up the lamp so that at least it resembles some sort of basking area that he probably won't be interested in because this is quite a shock, but it'll give you a good look of what the basking area should be with the lighting on it. All right, so I'll be using just some standard clamp lamps. I'll put a link in the description. Um, these aren't reptile specific or turtle specific. So they're a little bit big uh, and a little bit clunky on this turtle topper, but they'll do the trick. I'll put UVB in one, heat in the other, just so you guys can see what it looks like on top. All right, so like I said, these are pretty big clamp lamps, but there's an awesome little sill here that you can use to use clamp lamps like this. So you can attach it directly to your basking platform. Now I'm a big fan of the mini deep dome because it's compact and and just looks a little nicer but it's too wide to fit in this little screen area so your basking lamp will have to rest on the plastic itself and that might melt it maybe it won't but I don't want to risk that so I'm going to go with what you're supposed to put on here which is clamp lamps and let's turn them on let's make this thing a basking area All right, so we have everything set up here. Let's see if Hera will take the brave climb up to this new and unadventured basking platform. If not, we might have to force him. He's doing all right right now, and I'll keep a close eye on him. If he gets too stressed, I'll take him out. Don't worry about Harold. We've got this all under control. Let's start the review. So first things first, most people have slider turtles as their cute little munchkin turtle pet. They're the most popular breed of turtles that are sold in pet stores, and this is because they're extremely cheap because they have saturated the market. They're very hardy turtles, which makes them very easy to transport and sell and have success with. So in the US, you can't legally sell a turtle that has a carapace that is under four inches long. Now, like I said, Harold's about seven inches long and almost full grown, but Let's say we have the smallest turtle possible, so we have a four inch turtle. Turtle rule of thumb when you are sizing your aquarium is 10 gallons per inch of carapace length. That's your length of your turtle from the back end of the shell to the front end. So immediately we need a 40 gallon aquarium. This 20 gallon tank is immediately obsolete if you buy your turtle legally from a pet store. So like I said before, this turtle topper right here is designed for a maximum width tank of 12 inches. Now, 20 gallons, 12 inches. There's a 30 gallon, a little less popular, that's 12 inches. There's a 55 gallon, that's 12 inches. So like I said, 40 gallons is the approximate tank size that you need for your four inch turtle. That immediately rules out all tanks, but the 55 gallon aquarium. So that is very limiting right off the bat. Now the 55 gallon aquarium obviously is 12 inches wide. The 20 gallon is 12 inches wide. 
This is very narrow. So I would think of it as your turtle is now living in a sort of hallway-like environment where it's long but super narrow and hard to turn around. And Now there are tanks out there that are quite a bit wider and these are known as breeder tanks and also tanks that are 75 gallons and over or have that wider width. And these tanks are more adequate for turtles, especially full-grown adult turtles. So in general, I think this is a really cool turtle topper, but it really limits the tank size you can use. I would say it only works on a 55 gallon tank. You don't have any other options, especially when your turtle is four inches plus. So you're really limited right off the bat when you buy this turtle topper and you should be aware of that when you purchase it. There are things you could probably do to modify this so that it works for any size tank. And I'll talk about that a little later on. So let's not dwell on the tank size any further. Let's continue our review. The next thing I want to point out is this 20 gallon aquarium is covered by about half of this platform and the remaining half is left wide open. Now in order for this ramp to be an adequate ramp to, for the slider to easily slide out and slide back in, you need your water level quite high in the tank, which is awesome for your turtle because the more water in your tank, the better for your turtle. But it also is extremely prone to escape because Obviously I have a huge turtle in here and it's really easy for Harold to escape, but when my turtles were even smaller, they were escape artists and you had to have the tank about three quarters full for them not to escape if you don't have any sort of topper on, top on there. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna get this turtle topper, especially with a 55 gallon, you have even way more area for that turtle to decide to climb out. But I would never risk something like that. Definitely get some sort of top on the rest of the tank if you're not just sitting here watching your turtle like I am for Harold, because when you leave, there's a huge chance that your turtle could climb out and that would be catastrophic. Put a top on the remaining open portion of your tank if you're gonna get this basking platform so that your turtle can't escape. Next thing I wanna talk about is the little resting area under here. While it doesn't look awesome, I actually really like it. My turtles like to just kinda of hang out on random things in the tank, just kinda of float there and rest, as this is aptly named the resting platform. It's a really simple addition to this topper, and I don't see it causing many issues. If it is an issue, you can easily remove it. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the ramp. The ramp is approximately just under seven inches wide at the bottom, a little under six inches on top. Harold can fit, but her legs are going to have a hard time navigating up the ramp just because it's going to be so tight. It's almost the size of her shell. So, so while Harold will not grace us with the use of this ramp, we can test the strength by me giving it some good force here. And this is a strong ramp. Those two little braces here and that upper seam that we pressed into gives this ramp plenty of strength for any turtle that's going to be able to fit in the opening here, which is about six, seven inches max. Uh, yeah, perfectly strong for that. And Another thing they need to be able to do is actually grip it and climb. And as you can see, they have this little kind of rock structure that has little crevices, which is great for turtles' claws to dig into. And since my brain is broken, I don't have a good word for it. They have these kind of rumble strips, and this will be excellent for turtles pulling themselves up onto the basking area. So overall, this ramp is perfectly adequate for a turtle to reach the basking area on this turtle topper and I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, another feature on this basking platform are these suction cups. I'm actually pretty surprised about how well these suction cups are holding. Uh, I guess only time will tell. I'm not a big fan of anything with suction cups because eventually they fail and they will let go and you have to either get new ones or you have to soften them up and put them back on. But eventually I don't think these will be really effective. What do they do? They help hold on the basking platform from sliding off to the side. Is that really necessary? I don't think so. I don't think the turtle is really gonna put that much horizontal force off the tank into this platform, even getting up and down hundreds of times. I just don't see it moving that easily. Now, if you didn't have any basking lamps on here, this would be pretty light and maybe that's, maybe it could, but I don't think those suction cups are really even necessary and 
worst comes to worst, you're gonna hit this ramp too, and that's gonna help stop things. And hopefully by then you will have noticed that this thing is moving off the side of the tank. If you're really worried about it, just put this side of your tank up against the wall. This will never slide through your wall unless your turtle is some sort of super saiyan. So I wanna give this turtle topper a little credit. I am a huge fan of any sort of basking platform that sits on top of your aquarium. Why is that? Because it gives your turtle the maximum capacity of your aquarium to swim around in. Basking platforms like these foam floating docks that use suction cups are garbage because you can only fill your tank up three quarters away. Having this on top of the tank lets Harold soak up all the water that this 20 gallon can hold. Just like the basking platform behind me that's sitting on my 75 gallon aquarium. This is a DIY project that I posted videos on how to make, but again, it gives the turtle the entire volume of that tank and what it's designed for. So use all that. So I actually think Penplax is crushing it with this idea of having a turtle topper like this, and it should be super popular. However, it's super limited to tank size. I really hope this is something that Penplax picks up on and just changes the sizes of this thing because this could be a really good product if it found more practical tanks for a turtle. Now I'm getting a little impatient with Harold here, so I'm gonna kinda, you know, give a little forceful push right at that ramp and see how she looks up there. All right, so Harold might freak out a little bit here, but that is a turtle in the turtle topper. Again, Harold's pretty big, so not the greatest, not the greatest demo, but it shows you the turtle has plenty of space when up in the topper, the lights shine directly in. And obviously when you get your lighting, make sure you're getting the right temperature down where your turtle is. Change your wattages if you are not. A cool part of this topper is the clear plastic on top. I can look right in and see Harold, maybe to Harold's dislike, because the privacy is out the window, but I think that topper is a great design and it will fit most turtles' needs. There you go, Harold. You're out. You made it. All right, just to summarize, what we've been through with this review. I think this turtle topper is an awesome idea and concept. However, it's way too limited to your tank size, which is basically a 55 gallon aquarium. The ramp is strong and ready for any turtle that's up to, I would say, six inches. The lighting area is pretty good. You probably have to use clamp lamps unless you come up with some way to put some sort of deep dome up there with a fixture of some sort. The basking area itself is really clean looking. It's spacious for your turtle. I don't see any ways that your turtle could hurt itself in there. Once you have those lights on there, I think it's heavy enough that your turtle can't push the top off here because there really is no fastening device for the top. If your turtle is really strong and you notice it's being pushed up, definitely do something about that because it could be dangerous if your turtle escapes, obviously. The resting area underneath is a great idea and Harold's already using it, so I think it's an awesome feature. Overall, this thing is really easy to put together. It's, it's very few components, which makes it accessible to almost everyone. But one thing to watch out for is this open area over here. Harold could easily climb out. Uh, most turtles could probably easily climb out because you have your water level almost to the top of the tank. So definitely use either glass, acrylic, or maybe egg crate to cover over this open area so your turtle cannot escape because that would be awful. And that's my review of the Penplax Reptology Life Science Turtle Topper Above Tank Basking Platform. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you how you can make this turtle topper fit basically any size tank because like I said in my review, it's so limited to tank size that it makes it almost not worth it. I'm sorry Penplax but we can fix that. Harold, thank you for being so, so brave. Thanks for watching everyone. Like, subscribe, comment. See ya.